so go, we're going through some of these will go through a little faster watchdog of the old lords which, which is a it's just it's a uh a multiple use boss in the in the chalice dungeons it's fine like i have nothing to say it's about not- it you know? Fuck that that enemy! I hated fighting these things, especially yeah. because it's 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 in the, in the D. um the chalice that cuts your health. Yeah, yeah it's it in, in the, the defiled chalice. Uh, it's in the defiled chalice. Like fuck you it. get watched off by that thing. It's, yeah, fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Screw screw this thing! Like yeah. I hate it. <laughs> get out of here. Um, it's so the worst uh, limb boss uh, in the game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm putting it on. A, I'm putting it in D. Um, Let's just do that. Yeah. We come to the. Uh, this is the last boss, I think. Oh no, we have two more bosses from the from the DLC. Uh, Lawrence, the first vicar, um, which is um, basically a. It, it's a. It's like a. It's like a mod fight of the cleric beast, basically. But in this one, the, in the hunter's nightmare in the DLC, you're fighting him again, and you, and you return his human skull to him, and then he he comes to life. He's laying there you can go up to him before you ever fight him in the church. Um, and that was a moment when I walked in that, when yeah, I walked walk up those steps of the cathedral and you there. see him chilling and you're like, oh, no, I'm not ready for this. I don't That's want to fight a boss joke. right now. <laughs> and you walk in and nothing happens. You're yeah. like, what am I supposed to do? Here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I took the item out of his hand. And I was like, when I get to the door, it's absolutely going to come to life and like seal me off. And it never did uh, until you go back at the end with a certain item. Um, and you can fight him. Um, He's really hard. <laughs> He's very difficult. He's very hard. Yeah. Um, he hits like a truck <laughs> and the fire, especially the last phase where he's like kind of like crawling around on the, on the ground with like the lava spewing from his butt or whatever. Like I, and you can't get behind him anymore. Cause you mentioned right. Sky, isn't you like to stay on the side yeah, or you get I behind him. Booty. Yeah. You got to get up in that ass. That's what you got to do in these games. Yeah. If you want to be the boss, you got to get up in that ass. Um, you can't do that. Uh, nope. So this one took me like um, a, a good good amount of tries to, to beat. It was mm-hmm. it was definitely difficult. Um, I, I don't think it's an amazing easy. boss because yeah. you know it's like no. it's it's fine. It's not a, it's a good boss fight, but it's not like an amazing boss fight to me. So here's how I stand on on Lawrence. So I find this fight it, it's it's a limb boss until mm-hmm. his limbs fall off and then he's yeah. not a limb boss anymore. And then he's just yeah. like, what, what is this bullshit? Um, I find limb bosses in this game very easy um, mm-hmm. because they're easy to stagger. Uh, you can just go to town on like the back leg and they'll fall over and you get an easy visceral on the face. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not the case with this one. No. <laughs> so I went into this with that strategy. I was like, oh, I'm just going to hit the legs. Like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. And then his legs fell off and I was like, oh, I got to readjust <laughs> my whole strategy now. I'm fucked. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I think it's a cool fight. I think. Yeah. Uh, once again, the music's sick. The lore is awesome. Uh, the fire effects in it are super cool. Yeah. Um, it, it, you, there aren't a whole lot of enemies in this game that just be pooping fire everywhere. It's something else. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> really something else. And getting the skull is really interesting too. Yeah. And the cutscene is wicked. Um, I think it's like, the reason why I, I think it's just an okay fight is it's because without the, the whole fire and everything, it's the reskin. Yeah you know yeah it's but and i find the, the boss that it's a reskin of to be a far superior fight because of where it's located in the in the the game yeah so when we get to cleric beast mm-hmm. i'll have my piece about that because i i feel a certain type of way with the cleric beast okay and we'll we're gonna move there. that up then but, to next um, so we can just talk about that yeah, in, okay, cool. in, 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 in tandem um, excellent excellent so yeah. i think the i think lawrence is i don't think it's a, i think it's like a b yeah, and, and I would agree. It's, or even a, a low A. Yeah, if you I feel like, like I, it's I a very an low A. Either. But we can't yeah. do that. So I would say I would not get a B. Because, yeah, we'll give it a high B. <laughs> yeah, because there are other fights that I like more than Lawrence, but less than our S's mm-hmm. that I would like to, you know, put into A. So let's put, him, sure. into, let's put him into B. Um, totally fair. So I'm guessing you're going to, then you're going to feel like the Cleric Beast would be an A that I'm guessing, at least. All right. C- so considering your, what you just said. Let me tell you how much the cleric beast means to me because the cleric beast was the first boss i fought in this game yeah and mm-hmm. getting through the whole air like on that bridge getting through the town everything it just it's daunting it's difficult you know like that's not an easy like that game gate keeps you right from the start you yeah, know no, it, the opening it, it doesn't of Bloodborne, hold your hand yeah it's hard yeah bloodborne's not an easy game and a lot of people that i know that picked it up they stopped playing within a couple hours because they just couldn't get past the town. They couldn't yeah. get past the bridge. They couldn't get past the sewers. They couldn't um, 
figure like wrap their brain around how a game like this can be so difficult right from the start because yeah. it is it's it's probably in my opinion one of the hardest starts to a from software game it is absolutely yes that that open uh, town it, is, it is no is, joke yeah no joke so it throws so many I, enemies at you in such so close many. proximity and they're not easy no no yeah. it's very hard and like you have to learn how to crowd control which is yeah. a huge thing in this game right from the start like yeah. it teaches it, it doesn't hold your hand it it throws you right into the frying pan like yeah. it teaches you all the things it wants to teach you and it's not kind about it and i you know it, it feels a certain type of way when you can sur surmount that and get past mm -hmm. that so i got to the end of that bridge and i was like i am a god i did it there's a, uh, there's got to be something back here to reward me right and then this son of a bitch just crawls <laughs> off the top of the yeah. building shrieking like a psycho yeah. jumps down right in front of you and then you see the boss bar pop in at the bottom and you're like I fucked up <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yep. yeah that that experience is something that always stuck with me and for that reason the cleric beast may not be an s tier to you it may not be an s tier in terms of its move set or anything like that but just it, it it has a special place in my heart because of the experience that i had with that beat that that enemy is my favorite one in the game really and, and just because just because i have that that fond memory and i've attached that sense of like fear and accomplishment like i have so much um like when i think about bloodborne i think about the cleric beast Wow. Because that was the first real oh shit moment I had in that game. And it, mm -hmm. it's it's always stuck with me. So it's a spiritual S tier to me. I probably would put it in an A. Okay. But like, you know, even B is fine. Like, I don't care where you put the cleric beast. It's, you know, it is what it is in terms of like, it serves the purpose it's supposed to serve. But just, yeah. I have so many fond memories attached to that one boss fight. So I feel a certain type of way. I mean, that's <laughs> like, interesting. I've, I've never heard anyone have yeah. that really opinion about the cleric beast. Like, I think the cleric beast is a good fight. I think... But my issues mm -hmm. with it are more just like, I think the arena is too small for the size oh, of it. Small. So the camera, the from camera, which is always, uh, you're always, always like your number two biggest enemy in the entire game um, is really going hardcore for a first boss fight. It's like, it, you know, it, it really wants to fuck you up, you know, uh, on, on those, yeah. on those moments. Um, you know, I, if it was my personal ranking, it would probably be a B, but I would say that like, it, judging by your reaction i would say we should put it into a um i can't yeah, let it, i can't i, I can't, I can't go s i can't go s on it <laughs> no me neither me neither for the clarity it's, it's an s in my heart okay. it's an s in my heart but um, i that's all it is because of my <laughs> my 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 fondness of that experience i always um, remember it the the uh, the next one up is what could be the other first boss that you fight in in bloodborne which is father gascoigne Though I, I don't mm -hmm. know anybody who, who happened upon Gascoin before they happened on the Cleric Beast. It's so much harder to get to Gascoin than it is to get to the Cleric Beast. So much harder. And it's funny because like you can go one of two ways, right? Yeah. So if you go to the end of the bridge with yeah. the scary troll in front of it, some people might be a little fucked at. Yeah, yeah. So they'll go, you know, accidentally discover the sewers and go that way, which isn't yeah. easy either. It's the no. goddamn pig down there that can mow you down in one yeah. shot. Like there's all kinds of garbage down there that wants to eat you for breakfast. Yeah. But um, you're... Father Gascoigne's a such a cool fight. He's your yeah. first real like, uh, that's what this game is, huh? Kind of yeah. experience. If you didn't happen upon the cleric beast, like I did by accident, and whew, that was a thing. But um, the the Father Gascoigne fight, like he, what a cool enemy, and the lore implications are insane. You feel you you can meet his daughter. Yeah. Like. That's where on you get the, the music way box there from. and you get the yeah. music box and mm -hmm. like the music box just paralyzes him with these horrible like this horrible moment when you play it where it's just like oh my god what have i done like yeah. I, I killed my whole family and shit like yeah. that like it, it's just it's crazy what a, he's a cool cool fight cool character yeah great um arena too yes. with all the gravestones and, like the, the trees stones, yeah. and stuff yeah oh it's so good i love father gascoigne i love father gascoigne <laughs> as well and i think again you mentioned we mentioned you know the the opening like area of bloodborne how hard it is it's fantastic though. if you can really beat is. father gascoigne is that you know, as an early game boss, it, it, he's incredibly difficult. Like it, for, he is for, very hard, very hard. He's, oh. he's super fast. He's, and then he hit any end and he can hit you really, really hard, but he also begins to show you the, what you can do against bosses to even the playing field. Right. Like, it, mm -hmm. like he is a parryable boss for sure. Um, totally. and he use he teaches you to use your arena to like, you know, like be able to like use it at smartly to, to watch out for his attacks and to block yourself from his attacks. Um, also, if you can beat Gascoin, 
you can probably finish Bloodborne. You know, like that's that's the, the yeah. thing too is that they put him at the beginning, um, and he's very difficult. But much like the opening area, he is a litmus test for you to go like, if I can do this, I can probably do you know whatever. You know, because it doesn't really get there. Are, I mean, there are harder bosses than than Gascoigne, but like no, nothing. The, the 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 level doesn't get so big in any of the mainline bosses that you know is sep separation of difficulty. That if you can beat Gascoigne, I think you can beat the game. So like I absolutely um it, it really great in that way. Yeah, the lore is good. He's a very interesting character because he's not from Yarnum. He's from somewhere else, and because there are no priests, like there are no father is not a designation in the healing church. So he's from somewhere else. He's not from Yarnum originally. And he came here at some point, you know, to hunt. And there's other stuff with his, if you go back to his lantern at a certain point, there's another hunter there who, you know, probably knew him and was, his, I think he's his like, grandfather. I think he might be his father or whatever. You know, it's like, it's interesting stuff there. But I think he's an A. I think he's an A fight. And me too. Okay. Yeah. I think that's an easy A for yeah. sure. Um, um, like you said, the whole litmus test thing, like it's, yeah it's great i love how from software does that because man like it, it's it hurts it's punishing but if you can get through it the game starts like it's yeah. amazing yeah great um amygdala uh, Am amygdala um ami amygdala amygdala um, amygdala, amygdala yeah. Is the, uh, yeah um ah uh, c for me like it's yeah. fine you know, I do like when it's it rips cool off its own fight. arms and uses them as like, yeah. weapons. Like that's cool. It, it, it's 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 a cool fight. It yeah. is, and, and the I like the the lore of the amygdala, like the fact yeah. that um you know with the insight you can start seeing them crawling the buildings, like they're yeah. all over the place and yeah. and shit like that. But they're um like it, it's an underwhelming fight. It's difficult for all the wrong reasons. It's not difficult because it's trying to teach you a mechanic or take advantage of a mechanic. It's just I have long arms and I'm yeah. going to sweep the whole arena and you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also, you have to hit the head for like maximum damage. Oh, it's a spider on me! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is what happens when you 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 do this in a basement. <gasps> that was terrifying, guys. I just had a little rom crawling on me. It knew. It knew we were talking about Bloodborne. It, it knew. Oh, gross! I'm so grossed out. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Back to back to back to amygdala. Uh, amygdala also looks like a spider, and I don't like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, I would think it's like you're, it's it's just it's just a boss with a huge health bar that only has one spot that really does much damage to like much chunks out of its health bar and it's and hard it's, to hit it's like, very it's hard, hard to, to hit, hit. Its head. and in the last phase it's even harder to hit because it's almost always doing some sort of like arcane like attack on you when it like slam like area of effect attack um it's like a C to me. It's a C boss fight. I yeah, like them you know, in I the world. That's fair. That's fair. I like them in the world a lot more than I like them as the boss fight. Like that moment when you, after you beat Rom and you walk out of the cathedral ward and it, and they're just up there, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, like that, th that's such <laughs> no, a crazy it's, moment. It's terrifying. Yeah, it's a crazy <laughs> moment. Yeah, when the moon just turns red and everything yeah. goes to shit. And you're just yeah. like, oh, oh, Rom, I miss you. Where were you? Yeah, well, please, Rom, come back. Come please back. put the veil over the world again so I can't <laughs> see this thing is here. I don't want this. This Eldritch nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Um, Living Failures is next, which is the uh, this last of our DLC bosses that we're going to discuss. Um, it It's probably a C. It's pro it's much like Celestial Emissary. It's basically the same fight as Celestial Emissary, or Witches of Hemwick. Um Except it's not, there's no trick to it. You're just going to, you just have to do damage to them, you know, eventually. And everyone you, everyone you damage takes damage off the maximum health bar. Um, I like the lore of them again. Like they are, they're kind of, they are the, another one of the experiments of the healing church trying to create, you know, either old ones or connections to old ones, you know, to, to great ones. And that's cool. And what they do when they call in like the meteors or whatever, and the whole sky changes to like the cosmos and stuff like that is really cool looking. But as a fight overall, it's just like, it is obvious much like the celestial emissary fight. It's going like, okay, here's your little like easy fight before you get into the real shit. Cause you know, mm -hmm. you've got, you've got real yeah, stuff it's like coming. standing right in front of the best boss. It's yeah, like, yeah, hey, exactly. Here's, yeah. Where's yeah. the door to cool. Yeah. You have to get through our bullshit first. Yeah. And like, there's that one attack where it's got like, it summons the meteors out of the sky. Like yeah. you said, I found that, you know, that was so easy to dodge because you either had to stand behind the big centerpiece in, in the middle there, the, yeah. the flower or whatever, the big tree or whatever the hell it was. Yeah had to just crawl between the two open doors 
I was doing. So I'd run up the stairs, <laughs> go to the two open doors and just like slot myself in there and just watch mayhem and bullshit yeah. happen and nothing touched me. And then I ran back out and, you know, smacked a few more and it was over. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not, not a hard boss fight. It's, it's a hard not, boss. No. it's, 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 it could be long. Yes. Depending on like the type of build you have. Like if you're, if you're not doing enough damage to them, they last for what feels like forever. They're kind of chonky, yeah. but they are otherwise like super unimposing. Yeah. Um, you're right. They, I, I put them at C for sure. Yeah. I don't hate what, them enough to be next to those da that damn no, fire dog, that damn watchdog. But it's you know it's it's pretty boring. It's not a great yeah, fight. Yeah, D trust me. With my with my fully leveled out Ludwig's Holy Blade, I was doing plenty of damage. Just <laughs> smack him. <laughs> um, next is German, the first hunter, um, the final boss. Well, not the final boss, but the the real final boss of of the story. Like there is another, obviously, with the moon presence after German, but like. Mm -hmm um german is really like your last big test of bloodborne um and by the time i fought him i had already done i played the dlc already and so then he was like i basically beat murgo's wet nurse went into the dlc and then went in and and, and fight german so i was over leveled for him for sure but even being over leveled for him and i think pretty decent at fighting human enemies it still took me like three i think three tries three or four tries to, to beat him um he's German's very not hard. an easy fight no yeah. he's, no he's very he's hard. fast um yeah. he has the best arena in the whole game to me yes the that arena, arena so cool. is gorgeous it's you see the, the, the fire Gear in the background yeah oh, oh my god <laughs> don't make me start crying what a traumatizing experience that was but no i even felt like when i was fighting german that like i felt sad for multiple reasons because mm -hmm. i knew this was the end and i didn't want the experience to end but i also knew that like you know I'm setting this guy free he's trapped in here you know he he he's joined the hunt mm -hmm. you know because he yeah. he you thought he was just this weird creepy old bastard with with some doll obsession chilling yeah. in a wheelchair the whole time I mean, he is that too and, he is yeah that he's too. definitely that uh <laughs> definitely that but then he gets up and he pulls out his scythe and you're like oh shit yeah thanks yeah. like i didn't know that uh but the music in that one is also great with the the sweeping violins and like yeah. the sad tone to it it's just the arena the music the fight uh so good uh yeah. i i really like like i think he's an s for me he's a great fight yeah. also he's, a great fight. he's parryable even though he's difficult he's parryable and he has one of those things where like it makes you the, the parry window is not as big as some of the other bosses have. Mm -hmm. So you feel like a real badass when you get the oh, parry. Because totally. he's coming totally. in with that scythe and you're like, I'm just going to stand here and pull the trigger on this gun and hopefully it's going to stop him. If it doesn't stop him, I'm dead. Here yeah, goes exactly. my head. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, and at the second phase, he gets like, he's a real pain in the ass, you know, with, with like, you know, some of the attacks that he does. But yeah, his lore, everything around him is great. And like the, that moment where he's like, tonight, German joins the joins hunt, the hunt and you're just so like, cool. oh shit <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs>yeah, um, yeah I, i'm fine with them being s tier again another, again another you know hunter-esque enemy that i think really it's when the game really is, is at its best is when it's giving you these things totally. um so we're gonna we're gonna run through all of these chalice bosses right now the rest of the chalice mm -hmm. bosses so uh uh tumerian descendant um again like lore implications cool um fight wise fine like i don't really have many opinions on him like that's the thing you know? He's another one of those fights where I'm like, he's difficult for all the wrong reasons. He's yeah. just got a bullshit move set. You know, there those pillars you could stand behind for for safety. He clips through most of them, so you can't even heal behind one because he's just throwing shit yeah. or or clipping through. I remember having a really hard time with this this fight, and not because 
I felt like I wasn't playing him properly, but because he was just nasty and mm. you're, yeah, I wasn't a fan of him. I think a lot of the chalice dungeon bosses are C's or D's for me. They're, they're yeah. just unmemorable, um, yeah. kind of difficult for the wrong reasons. I, I'm fine yeah, with being a that, D. I'm fine. Yeah, um, I hated him, dude. <laughs> oh God, I can't read this one says. What is this guy called? The Beast Possessed? See, that's what? what I mean when I say a lot of the chalice bosses weren't memorable. <laughs> I remember him being like a bl- blood something blood beast like a blood obsessed beast or or, or yeah. something like that because he would like spew blood out of his back and shit like when you would start to injure him and, or whatever kind of, like vaguely you remember yeah. him he'd be a d like, like again unmemorable yeah, like, i probably mm-hmm. fought him four times too but i don't yeah. really remember <laughs> he's just not something special yeah you're right um, killer boss keeper of the old lords um in the defiled chalice dungeon made me want to scream and throw my playstation mm-hmm. out the window because just tuck it she had that one little that one little like like fire attack that like was like a little fire shotgun and it would kill me every single time and it happened so fast and i would be stun locking the shit out of out of it like i would be like hitting them like june 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 and like parrying it and then they would get this one shot off and it would just kill me. It does appear in other, mm-hmm. in other parts of Chalice Dungeon. I do think the design is sick. Like, I love the, the way awesome. it looks. It's so, and I love the idea of it, right? Which is, it's like this, it's basically like, you know, like the forward guard of this, of this group of, of people, right? Um, So like in that way, I think it, 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 it's the only one for me that could rise above the D. It might be a, it might be a C for me. That's um, I, I can I get behind that. That's okay. fine. Yeah. Uh, the Merciless Watcher. <laughs> it's hard is just, to be that bad. The Merciless Watcher is just three yeah. of an enemy that you fight in the in most of the main Chalice dungeons. It's usually the thing that's guarding <laughs> the like the the the, uh, the lever you have to pull in order. It's like to, three common enemies. Yeah. 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 One of one of you know from does this some you know when they when they have to fill out a boss roster they'll do this all the time. Um, they do it with Elden Ring all the time too. Yeah, you yeah, walk in yeah. and you're like, "Oh, I fought you outside, but now there's yeah, four of yeah, you, and yeah. <laughs> now you're hard because of numbers." <laughs> yeah, except in, in that game, there's you know, three hundred bosses, and in this game, there was only like thirty. So you know, it's really, mm-hmm. um, undead giant. Um, I'm cool with an undead giant being in C. At least he was a little bit more memorable. Yeah, he's a little more memorable. He felt a he is, he, I think he he is he in the defiled? No, he's not in the defiled dungeon i can't remember no, that's the, because wa- it's the that's the watchdog of the old when lords I think, yeah the i just think watchdogs and then my whole experience of the defiled dungeons just like a fever dream it's a nightmare yeah, for me. it's the watchdog <laughs> of the old lords the 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 keeper of the old lords and then it's um it's amygdala is the final boss of that oh god and that was the worst that was the worst the worst <laughs> um under giant is fine um for this one yeah. uh he actually he has two uh, multiple forms in there too which is at least interesting um all right back to the back to the main the main game bosses um vicar amelia a limb boss i found to be easy to bully lots mm. of health though so yes. it, it was kind it of can like heal a, itself as well yes and it can heal itself if you're not if you don't have the item you need to throw on yeah. it to prevent that mm-hmm. um this is the type of boss i thought that was more like a dps check like if you couldn't yeah. fight vicar amelia then you weren't strong enough to progress past her and you needed to level your character or you needed to get back out there and get more more items you needed to um hone your skills a little i thought she was more like a skill check mm-hmm. and for but her cutscenes wicked too and yeah, her implications wicked. are terrifying where she just like yeah. right in front of your eyes becomes this horrible abomination like you're, you're seeing firsthand with this character what happened to everybody in this town yeah. and um it's it's visceral and it's terrifying and it's uncomfortable I, I the atmosphere the setting the music i think aside from it being easy to bully if you're mm. you go in with the correct build and you go in with the mindset that like you know you, you've learned how to do these fights properly and you've you know you're confident in your abilities you can really bully this thing but if you can't it's a definite skill check and mm-hmm. um I don't know. I, I think it's about, I'd say a B. Yeah, I would agree. I don't think it's a particularly difficult fight if you, if you know, if you've approached the game properly. Yeah. Um, but it's just cool. Um, like the cutscene is neat. And yeah. What's the bigger pain Alora in the ass? Fighting cool. her as the big beast or when you meet her up, see her again in the hunter's nightmare and she's like that magic tossing hunter that's, you know, after you beat Ludwig, you walk to the church mm-hmm. and you go in that back room and there's like two hunters back there. Like one of them is supposed to be Vicar Amelia, like in the nightmare. She gave me way more trouble there. Way more th- trouble. Than she gave me oh as the big, the, the dog, the dog monster. 
I always run past those guys. Like I, yeah. I go back and fight them eventually, but like I run past them, get the the lantern or get the protection, and then I'll go back. And be like, all right, I'm gonna get my ass kicked a few times. Like I'll backtrack mm. to this. I uh, know um, you're so right. Like her, that form is much harder. The human yeah. form. Um, though I do, I know people like there. Again, I think there are certain. Bo- it's funny when you talk to a lot of people. People, some people have trouble with bosses that you're like, what, really? And then you'll tell them the bosses you had trouble with, and they'll be like, really? You know. Mm-hmm. So one of my friends had like really bad trouble with vicar amelia like really really bad trouble he just couldn't do it he would get caught in like her combo where she would like do like that like that like hand thing and then she would like do a sweep mm-hmm. and then he would be dead basically you know and then yeah, overhead yeah. slam that's what i meant by yeah. the skill check because yeah, like those he, are they're easy to dodge attacks yeah you can like stun lock the hell out of her if you um you know like go through her limbs and keep hitting yeah. them and if you have the the vial to stop the healing like once yeah. you you learn the fight it's incredibly easy yeah. um but like that's if, i mean if you're incapable of learning that fight you're gonna get yeah. murdered like 80 percent of the time like it's not easy um that boss for me was the blood starved beast <laughs> which <laughs> is next um uh <laughs> It gave me so much trouble. It gave me. So I was definitely. Much I, I was probably under leveled for it as well. Didn't realize it was an optional boss, so just like beat my head against it constantly, over and over and mm-hmm. over again. Um, when I realized it was an optional boss, I left it, and then came back when I was way over leveled and just like massacred it. But um, yeah, it, 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 as, as frustrated as I am by it, it's not a bad boss though. I will like I do hate the last phase because it just spews poison on you when you get close to it. Um, yeah you know. it's like it's just a, it's a bunch of skin flaps like it's really yes. uncomfortable design yes. um and and i can like this was a really hard fight for me as well too because um i didn't know the strategy and i was playing co-op with a friend who mm-hmm. was a glass cannon so he would walk in the door and just die and i'd be like mm-hmm. oh great now i'm stuck with this this enemy at twice <laughs> the health yeah <laughs> and yeah. it sucks already and now i have to kill it or start over or whatever so that was ex- that was an experience but the the poison at the end um like in its second phase the fact that you, you when you approach it you just take static damage is hard uh, mm. enough as it is and, and the aggressiveness of this boss the fact that oh, it can yeah. follow you across the map but you know what's funny it's easy because of, of just one thing and you have to determine that one thing and once you do you're like oh i'm such an idiot it's literally the blood starved beast you yeah. could throw pungent blood cocktails all over the place and distract it and kill it no problem like the puzzle the solutions in the name you know yeah but like people don't think of that and i didn't think of that until i you know i realized oh you know these things might distract it and you throw it against the corner and you're like oh it does and now i could just like smack its booty for a little and then re- rinse and repeat yeah um so you know once you figure it out it's not too bad and but if you don't ever figure out that strategy it's hell like that's a hard fight i don't know what would, what do you think I, i'd probably put it in a b i think a b yeah i think a b. Uh, it's not a bad fight it's a good fight it's just it's yeah. just you know um so i'm i i this one this next one I, I, we might disagree on it. I don't know. I don't know your feelings on Mikulash, host of the nightmare. I mean, there's, I have one one thing to say about this boss. Yeah. Chuck him in D. If if you, if there was a garbage can, like a like a little garbage can, you could drag that icon in onto your PC. Just drag him straight into the trash. Uh, that's where he belongs. He's a piece of shit. I hate chasing him. I hate that you know you could land. You could jump down the square like the little square, like the little mm-hmm. cellar hatch. And like, he'll one shot you with his fucking star blast move. <laughs> like I, I, you have to like land and roll. If you don't land and roll, you, you trigger, mm-hmm. you, you land too far from him and you trigger that fucking attack and you just get ass blasted. Like I, I, and then you have to do the whole thing over again. You got to run back. It's like a whole, I hate him. I hate <laughs> Put him in the garbage. <laughs> He's the worst fight in the whole fucking game. I can't stand Mikulash. That son of a bitch. <laughs> So, all right. <laughs> so mechanically, I a hundred percent agree with you. I, I like the fact you have to do so much running in order to like get to him, and the fact that he just like just negs you the entire time that you're doing. It. He's like, oh, I know. With the weak ass punches too. Like yeah, he's just yeah. a, he's insulting. He's an insulting yeah. fight. <laughs> um, but from a lore and like story perspective uh i think he's awesome because you know so much in the game right you you have these characters and enemies that are like these like 
devout to their, you know, beliefs or devout to whatever they're doing. And they're mostly joyless about it, right? They're mostly just like, like acolytes, right? For whatever they're mm -hmm. doing, right? They're, they're just like, this is the way. So this is the what I'm going to do. And how dare you, how dare, how do you not step in a line? Or I've been protecting this thing for a hundred years or you're not getting past here. And Mikolash, while he is like, obviously he was like a zealot about what happened because he killed like his entire, like the entire you know school of Mensis basically to get, to, to create this nightmare and to get into this nightmare. But he seems like he's like having a good time. He's <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's like, loving well, you his life. At the end. He's like, no, I have to go back. Uh, yeah, How yeah. dare you ruin yeah. this for me? And it's like, yeah. oh, if yeah. I was in your shoes, I don't want to go back. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And it's funny because um, eventually, because I played this game so many damn times, you can actually just get Miko Lash to the library and then you could jump down in front of him and like stun lock him in the door. And like, you never get to the last phase because mm -hmm. he just sits there and punches you with his weak ass punch and you just keep kicking his ass. It doesn't even change into his next um move set like I've, mm. I've never seen him use the star on me when i jump down in front of like you roll off and you jump mm. down in front of him or you could take the coward's way out and get poison daggers yeah, and yeah, kill him. you can just, just kill him yeah you can kill him in the library you don't yeah. have to fall down the cellar and get ass blasted by that stupid mm -hmm. attack so like you get used to it right but the fact that like the first couple of runs i had with this guy I, it didn't he, oh, he's such a he's a rat bastard yeah i do love that he doesn't have a weapon i love that he just punches you he just punches you or he uses his magic or but he uses I love his that tentacles when, yeah but i love that there is he doesn't always because every from boss even if they use magic it's always like i also have a sword that's made out of my spine yeah or whatever and he's just like nope i'm just gonna punch you with my hand yeah so like he's that's just... the that's the stuff i really like about him because i think like he's just very different you know, from a lot of other bosses, like when, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't take a lot of damage. Like he does have those attacks that can, can one shot you, but if you can stun lock him, he dies pretty fast, right? Like there's uh -huh. a reason why they break up the phases so harshly is because you could like, it, it, when I got into hitting him in the first phase, if they just let me keep hitting him, I would have killed him. You know what yeah, I mean? Like you can trap him in a corner and just keep doing it. And yeah, like you yeah. can, it's easy to dodge his dumb tentacle attack. Yeah. It's that it's just a one attack that if if you get a little too far from him, he does that that star attack. Stars. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Um, but he shoots the the, the bright lights everywhere. And yeah. I know it's an ability you can also get with the. You can. Yeah. You can get it too if you're you're running arcane, but yeah. um, it, it's nowhere near as effective as this bastard uses it. Like he he knows no. how to kill you with it, <laughs> no. man. Like he knows yeah. how to one shot you. You can go in there with like ninety nine health, yeah. like ninety nine <laughs> points in it, and he'll still take you out in one shot. And yeah. you're just like, oh, now I have to chase him again. Yeah. But no, you, you're right. From a lore standard, he's incredibly important to the story. Yeah, uh, he's a real real sicko. <laughs> yeah, he's a real sicko. And he He's wears that cage sicko. on his head and it's like, it's very cool. I like, I like the it's cage very cool. that's on his head. Yeah. You know what? I think he belongs in the trash, but I can give you a C or <laughs> okay. whatever you want to put him in. I, because, I, 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 I like, can live with fair. a C. I, I think, I think a C mm. is a good compromise from the trash. Um, the moon presence, uh, who is the, who is like, you're kind of like pushover boss after you beat German. Um, the so. moon presence has that one bullshit attack where it takes you down to one health. Yes. And it's also, that, like, also stops you from healing explosion. sometimes. Yeah. Like, he does a, a numbing I, mist to stop you from healing. I hate, like, it's a cool fight. He looks cool. His design is Look. so neat, man. Yeah, like, I, I don't really even cool. like the, the moon presence just looks like what i think an eldritch horror looks like to me yeah. like you could say the amygdala looks like that sure like that's your your stock image when yeah. you think of like hp lovecraft is the friggin' amygdala yeah. but like the moon presence just with the the, the spiky rib cage and yeah. like the big tentacle hair and like the weird face and mm -hmm. on all fours yeah. and stuff like it's just it's terrifying it, that thing is like it's like my worst nightmare if i saw one of those like <laughs> if someone of those crawled out of like a void in front of me i'd be like okay it's over like just just take me yeah. like i'm not gonna fight back <laughs> yeah um but it's it's it, aside from that one bullshit move it's not even a hard fight i think it's intentionally meant to be that way because even even with that move if it, as long as you have distance from him when he does it you're you pretty much it, fine yeah. like you 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 will mm -hmm. you can heal yourself back up the reason it's dangerous is because you just fought german 
and so you probably are low on blood vials you you, mm-hmm. you, 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 you probably are like working with low resources so when i played it i i, I took it i was i had like two blood vials left when i when i finished fighting german <laughs> so like i died to the moon presence then went back in and beat him you know as soon as i went back in mm-hmm. you know um but i think it's probably like a b probably i'd say it's a b that's totally yeah. fair like the, yeah. the lore of it's cool it's like what's imprisoning um garman in, in the dream yeah. and stuff like that like it's like yeah. it's like your overarching like main antagonist that like made all the other antagonists like, yeah yeah and the fact that you can miss it entirely is really interesting yeah yeah um and we got to, got to our last two here dark beast parl who is the electric oh. thing in the in the uh the jail when you get when you get taken to the jail in the unseen village. I have a story, a story okay. about Dark Beast Pearl. Okay. I killed him on my first try and I felt uh-huh. so, so mean about it because um, he's optional, right? So I went yeah. back to him with like my, my, like my stats were great. I had the plus nine or eight mm. or nine weapon or something. And I went in there and started pounding on him. He just kept falling over. It, I felt like mm. so, I felt like I was like kicking a puppy or something. And he just like, he's a limb boss, right? So he's just mm. easy to keep knocking over. And I was just like, wow, that felt really unsatisfying and not because it's like a hard fight or it's a it's, it's a difficult fight or, or it, i didn't even it didn't even put up a fight because i went in yeah. there and broke its legs and it fell over and then i killed it and i was like oh yeah. <laughs> whoops yeah <laughs> it's really mostly it's mostly a health bar test is really what it is because mm-hmm. when, it, when it does those electric exploding attacks it can take off a good chunk of a health bar and when you actually are supposed to get to it when you can get to it let's say you, you probably don't have that much health so it can it can be tricky, and it, it is a great moment though. It is one of those great fun moments. I, the boss is fine. The boss is whatever. the The lore yeah. behind it is interesting because that, that one hunter like turn like does experiments on it and turns it into like this electric beast or whatever. And it wasn't it wasn't that to begin with, but um, and you can actually summon that guy I guess in in, in his arena. But it's one of those great fun moments where because it doesn't have a boss door in front of it when you first get to it. You're just like it running just you're, up. because you're like you're like you, you, you're you've been taken to that jail by the bag man. Most likely that's most likely how you mm-hmm. got there and you're terrified. You don't know where you are. You're trying to just find a way out. And you like, finally, Oh, this must be the way out. And you run out the back door and you just run outside. All of a sudden this thing just gets up in front of you and this health bar pops up and you're like, Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. This was, it's never that easy. Eh? Yeah. And that whole area running to him is, is mean too, because oh, like so those mean. are like, you could walk down the stairs and like they're hiding, the witches are in the corner yeah. and they just grab you and cut your throat. And it's yeah. like, yeah come on like yeah. i didn't know you were there <laughs> yeah no um, so mean. it is cool though if you beat dark breeze parl you get the back way into old yarnum and you can actually like go up and talk to um i can't remember his name right now the guy who's on the clock tower whose name i can't remember right now um and he won't like he won't attack you like you can just go and talk to him um and, and that's cool that's a cool thing. That, mm-hmm. that, that, again, one that of the things cool. where the game, I mean, the fight is like a C though. It's like a whatever fight. It's definitely it's like, a C. Like yeah. I just, I, I beat him up too, too easily. For, yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, unfortunate. <laughs> All right. So shadow of Yarnum is our last, the shadows of Yarnum are our, our last, our last one. These are three bosses, three enemies in one boss. They all have like, you know, different movesets. One is like a full mage. One is like a hybrid. And one is like a full, like uh, melee character. And it's another one of those bosses where you're supposed to like, you have to learn how to like meter the health out and you know how you're going to a- address them because when one gets to its second phase, they all get to their second phase. So you have to like mm-hmm. figure out what you're going to do. Um, and then their last phase when, when, when there's only two left, the, the last phase that happens is like in there's insanity that happens in that, in that last yeah. phase. So, you know, how I mentioned when we were talking about the, the first area of the game where it teaches mm-hmm. you crowd control. Yeah. It's so you can fight these guys. You yeah. need to learn crowd control and like how to juke and how to position these enemies so you can hit more than one at a time and stuff mm. like that. And uh, you need to prioritize your targets. I always go for the guy with the sword first because I find him the hardest and mm. I don't want to take him into any other phase. I want to kick his shit in before he, right. you know, before snakes start spouting out of the ground or like yeah. uh, they start growing like snake heads and shit. Like, mm. Um, I always go for him first. That's my strategy. I I also find that he's the easiest to parry. He's yeah uh, yeah he has very so, like telegraphed attacks. T- super telegraphed. But yeah. this is like the definition of like what the beginning of this game was trying to teach you with the crowd mm. control. Uh, and if you didn't learn that lesson, this is a hell of a fight. 
I know mm. people who quit the game here because they could not, they, they thought it was like a gank. They were like, this is bullshit. Why is there three of them? I'm like, no, yeah. it's, it's not bullshit. It's trying to teach you a mechanic. It's trying to teach you a lesson. <laughs> and if you can't learn how to fight these guys, you should quit. You should stop because they're not difficult if you know how to, to handle them and prioritize your targets and crowd control. It's a great fight and the arena is awesome. Yeah. Um, this is another one of those uh, fire enemies. Like I said, they're they're not exactly common. There's like three of them in this game. But the, mm. the I always thought the particle effects were really well done in this game. Like the, mm. the it just it felt and sounded significant. Like they, yeah. it was just I love the shadows of Yarnum. I think they're such a, a I don't cool understand fight. why they're here in in this mm -hmm. place. Like I don't know what they're protect because like, they're meant to be like the protectors of that Queen Yarnum, um, Yar you know the Yarnum, the Queen of the Temerians or whatever. But like. I don't know in what way how they're protecting her in this spot, you know? I don't know yeah. why they're well, stopping they might be you from going to Bergenworth. Like, uh, they're yeah, why they're protecting Rom. Bergenworth yeah. to, with Rom. That might be yeah. the only thing they're doing is protecting yeah. Bergenworth. And yeah. you're right, uh, I don't understand it either. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. Um, I mean, no, they're a cool I'm, fight. Let, yeah. Uh, oddly, let us know in the comments if we missed anything yeah, more wise yeah. for the shadows, for sure. Because sure. we would yeah. love to hear it. Yeah. I think, like, the... Um, it's oddly they were the they were the boss I had the most trouble with on New Game Plus. Like when I was doing New Game Plus, my New Game Plus run, I so I did the first two endings of I saved Scum like the first two endings of Bloodborne, the two like Me too. hardest ones where it was like I had to fight him twice or whatever to you know once you know when I didn't eat the things and once when I did eat the things and so that I could like you know do that. But then I was like I I want I want to get the platinum and I want to do the, so I have to do all the chalice dungeons dungeons and I want something to do like when I'm not doing the, so to break up the chalice dungeons basically. Right. Cause I didn't want it, it to be the only thing I was good doing. So I did the last run where I just gave up to German at the end um, while I was doing the chalice dungeon. So I was like doing them mm -hmm. like back and forth and really pro no problem with any other boss, really any other mainline bosses. But, but for some reason, the shadows of Yarnum on new game plus, it was definitely my, like my hardest sticking point. And I don't know why, because the first time I fought them, I think I beat them in two tries or whatever. That's what I mean. Right. You know? And it might've been hard for you because you, you saw them like that. You didn't give yeah. them the respect. No, I didn't deserve. give them the respect so they, they deserve. They on you. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, they're cool fight. Like you said, they're, they're a lot of interesting Super mechanics. Cool. They're parryable. Um, wh where, where would you rank them? Um, I don't think like, because like what you said, the lore wise, they don't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, at least from what we understand of them. But I, I think they're a solid A. I wouldn't put them okay. in the same rank as like a Lady Maria or like Orphan no. or anything like that. But it's a great fight. I think mm. it's like I said, it teaches you a mechanic. It's not bullshit yeah. or difficult for the wrong reasons. It's like it's just it's satisfying. It's it's fun. I can I can, I can go with that. I can go with that yeah. for sure. Um uh all right. So that's it. Those are all the bosses of Bloodborne Sky we did it. ranked. This is an interesting uh, layout. Like it looks pretty um, even, like evenly yes. distributed. Yes. You know, I, I think that's really, really cool. And the fact that there's so many bosses is, is already a testament to how incredible this game is. If, if you haven't played Bloodborne and you've made it this far through the video, please play it. It's yes. one of my favorite games ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um i would if you have played it i'd love to know what what you think of the tier list i'd also love to know what um you think in relation to how how we um you know feel about certain bosses you know i i for example super duper hate uh cage man i want him to be in a garbage <laughs> so i don't know if other people feel that way i'd love to know like your thoughts in the comments as well because i love reading them i try my best to respond to everyone that i I can um, see and everything like that. I get the notifications too. So I like that discussion. I think um, if you've made it this far, please in the comments, let us know what you think. Um, mm, and I love to hear stories too. Like with the, the story that I had with the cleric beast, like I love to know uh, other people have had um, similar experiences with other bosses in this game because it's such a special game and it's such a special yeah. experience and Absolutely. everything about it is so fantastic. Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, me and a couple of people in, in, in 2020, uh, played the game to completion for the first time, and we did a podcast about it, like a like uh, in like I think uh, late early last year. I think we did it. We did a we did a big discussion about it where we talked I about those it. stories, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's a truly great game with with and and truly special in in a lot of ways. And you know, other than obviously, you know, fuck the chalice dungeons and and the bosses <laughs> that exist in them, because obviously from our listing here. Um, 
Was but, it um, Cody uh, that was on the, the yeah the, Cody the and my friend that Sam. had an, a, a wonderful experience? Yeah. Uh, he actually made me cry. Um, yeah. It was such a lovely um, experience as well. And uh, you know, in that um, in that same vein, we also have a Discord um, that we we discuss a lot of this stuff into, and yes. we're all in it, and we're all pretty active. Yes. Um, so you know, it, we'll try and leave that in the link to the description yes. as it's, well. Yes, it's in the but, it's um, in the it's in the it's in the body of uh, you know uh, the description yeah. of the video below for sure. Totally. Um, please join. We the the Soulsborn channel is kicking right now. Oh, it's <laughs> there's a lot so of active. a lot of talk so in the Soulsborn. Um, you know, and <laughs> this is watch- actually um, a suggestion from a, one of the people in our Discord. One yes. Of our viewers, so. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, and we have, and, and, but if you're watching this video and please subscribe, like the video, you know, mm-hmm. ring that bell and to get notification, we put more videos up. Um, we have some more plans for this. Stuff. Like I said, we're working, I'm working on a lore video for Elden Ring. And I think we're going to kind of do that as like a, almost like a lore university type of thing. So, you oh, know, okay. you know, get um, my, my hat yeah. my book. <laughs> So Sky will be there. Um, if Justin, Justin, by the way, had surgery on his shoulder. So he's like, Oh no. Yeah. He's been very commissioned. He's okay. He's totally fine, but he's had a shoulder problem for years and they finally kind of, I got it. I got it. Oh, so it's a good one. It's a, it's a good, good one. He's good. in a lot of pain right now, but um, you know, when he's back and he, he wants to be part of it too. Cause he's like, I don't know what's going oh. on in this game. I played this game for 80 hours. I got no idea what's going on. So <laughs> we'll go over that. We're going to give him a test. He's yeah. Gonna have a test at the end. end. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> What is the name of what is the name of the dragon lord? Don't look. No, it's not Lich Lich Dragon uh Fort to Snacks. It is Placid. I don't know how to say the name. It's something like that. Spell yeah. it. That's that's an exam question. Just spell that name. Like <laughs> <laughs> something else. <laughs> um but we'll, we'll talk about that all uh on that video but um until then make sure you you know like i said uh make sure you follow us on social media at misadventureland no a um on, on on twitter um and uh yeah thank you so much sky for this this was a lot of fun this was great yeah um we got more incoming um but until next time be good to another later yes bye you guys